Hey, what's up everybody? This is Wise Man White again from the Tech Temple here with another rooting video and this video is going to tell you how to root your Nexus S. And first, for a little bit, if you don't know what rooting is, you can kind of think about it, let's say, you know when you're at school or you're at work or you're at the library and they kind of restrict some stuff? Well, rooting is kind of the same thing, like your phone is restricted by the carrier and what they want you to do on it and what they don't want you to do on it. Rooting enables you to give you all access to whatever you want to do to your phone, um, put stuff on that carriers don't want you to, like you can make an app to, uh, like an app to take screenshots, and you can put your super user app on so you can tether for free, um, so that's what rooting allows you to do. So in this video I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus S 4G from Sprint. Uh, if you got any other questions, go ahead and put them in the comments in the video. Hopefully this video is pretty straightforward. And hopefully you don't get stuck anywhere. If you do, just leave them in the comments and I'll help you out best I can. So, all right, enjoy. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Wise Man White. And for those of you who have Sprint Nexus S4G, I'm going to show you how to root it. Um, I got my instructions from uh, Android Central. And just to give you a look at it. Uh, I don't haven't signed in or anything, so this is just how the phone comes when you start it up and don't log into anything. Like I said, there's it's just like it was when I got it. Haven't done anything, and <laughs> I always watch uh, Aaron from Phone Dogs videos, and he always says that the camera doesn't do a screen justice. I'm gonna co-sign on that, and the camera does, definitely does not do this Nexus S. Uh, justice in terms of the screen. Um, I don't know what Samsung did, but I guess because they make TVs, they know how to make a great display. But I just had to throw that out there. I want to show you. Uh, you check that model number two point three four. Band version kernel. I just want to show you the about phone before I root it. So there you go. I haven't signed in, and we're ready to root. Hopefully, this will take. Uh, I've done it once. Then I accidentally put I put a kernel on, and it was killing my battery. So I re read format everything. So this is just like I got out of the box. And I'm gonna I'm gonna root it again. This is uh after you get all the programs that you need. So all you need is the Android development SDK, and you need uh, two other files. Which if you click on the link, and this below the video, I'm gonna see more. I'll post a link to the Android Central site, and that site will have the recovery and the super user that you need to get it. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so first, before we start off anything, we need to get all the files. So head up to the techtemple.com. There should be on the front page a link. Um, to get to that, just click below the, below the video, it should say see more, then follow the link right there. I'll just have the link to the post that I use from Android Central. So the first thing you're going to need to get is the PDA net. You can download that and install it on your computer. And what that's going to do is put the drivers on your computer, so when you plug it up to the computer, it'll read it. And the second, what you need is the SDK file. So right here on the screen, I have a screenshot of uh, what the SDK file looks like. And make sure when you install it, please put it in the main part of your hard drive. Don't put it on uh, in some folder, just like I have on the screen, put it on the C drive, C drive, which is probably your main drive. And once you do, you click that, and you click your, it's gonna be called Android, as you can see in the screenshot, and then you wanna click uh, Android SDK. And right now, you wanna go to the Tools folder, and you wanna find either, I forget which file it is, it's either the fast boot file, or there's a, uh, Clockwork mod file. Either way, you want to copy that file and paste it into the platform tools folder. Uh, that's one step they forgot to tell you. So once you have it into the platform tools folder, go ahead and open the platform tools folder. Um, paste it in there, and then you want to right click on any file in that platform tools folder. Just right click and go to properties, like you see in the screenshot, and look in the location. You just want to highlight that location and copy it. That's going to make it a lot easier to use a command prompt. All right, so I show, showed you what you need, and right now we're going to go ahead and shut the phone off. 
power off. Okay. And we're going to reboot into recovery mode. So on the next SS, you hold the volume button up, and then you hold the power button. And it'll look like that. Hopefully it's uh, readable. Let me zoom in a little bit. So you can kind of see what's going on more. Alright. So now you see that. So now we're using the command prompt. And you're already in your folder. You're in your Android platform tools folder. So now just like the link says, you want to type in... Um, fast boot OEM unlock and what that's going to do is like I said it's going to unlock the phone so this is for Windows so go ahead and press the Windows key and for the command prop, prompt just put the Windows key in and just type command prompt and it should come up now the trick is here is uh, it's probably not set to your default uh, hard drive where you want to find this Android SDK so if you see in the screenshot you want to hit uh, what I did anyway for chdir for change directory and then just do right click paste and remember we copied already copied the file location the folder location when we did it before so just right click paste press enter and you should already be that just take you to the folder so now what you want to do is I just I just ran fast boot OEM unlock and like you see right there. Do I want to unlock it? Yes, I want to unlock it. So I hit that. Yes. Ah. Don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I know what what happened. Um, to make your selection, you have to use the uh, volume keys since the soft keys aren't working in this mode. So you hit up. Now once you do that, you hit the power button to confirm. That's in all, every time you're in recovery mode, you always use the power button and the up and down volume button. So hit power button. Yes. So now you hit the power button to make the selection. So now back into the command prompt, you want to use the flash, the thing that says flash, boot flash recovery, the im dot, dot img file. Dot 4G, Crespo 4G. So right now it's sending the recovery. So that was quick, say one point one three seconds. The recovery has been sent to the phone. So now it's been sent to the phone. To prove that to you, we can use this volume arrows and go down to reboot. Then you want to hit power button or recovery, I'm sorry. Recovery mode. And now you see the lock down there. That means you're un you're unlocked. And now you see we got the clockwork my recovery. And if you go to your install zip. So now we go to choose it from SD card. Oh, no files found. Oh, that's one. I'm glad this happened. So once you do flash the, you put the S super super user on, it'll erase everything that was on your SD card or your internal memory. So the file that you have put on there is probably gone. So what you have to do is. Hit go back, the last selection menu, hit reboot system now.
Yeah, see, this is a plan. This is this is how it goes sometimes. All right, so we're gonna turn this on. And from the website, you wanna go ahead and download the super user, um, super user file that's on there. On the website it says this is the file you want to put on the root of your SD card and when people be my root by root on the SD card that means you're just putting it right on the SD card don't put it in the folder you're just going to put it right in there so I just downloaded that file and I'm going to put that on the root of my SD card So that's on my SD card. Right, so we want to go hit the back button, power button, power off. Okay. We want to re reboot back into recovery. So hold the up on the volume key and hold the power button on the side. And just hold them until this comes up. Now you want to go to recovery. up so now you want to go down to install zip from SD card fourth option or fifth option choose up choose it from SD card to second option and it says su.3.6 blah 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 do that one and it says yes install and this is giving you super user access, so you can install all your um, like Shoot Me and Pick Me and Cash Mate, all those all those kind of apps. And so it installed; it's all complete. So then we just go back, reboot system now, and there you go. You're rooted. And while you're on the, if your command window is still open on your computer, just type exit. And that'll close it. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and log into my Gmail account. And then I'm going to show you guys, uh, just prove, make sure, you make, I'm going to prove to you that it is rooted. All right, I'm back, sign into my account, my Gmail account, and... I don't know why, but I, I unchecked this allow Google's, lo Google's location service to collect anonymous location data. And it says, even when no apps are running, it's going to use the service. And I feel like it's going to drain the battery a little bit. So I always uncheck that. But I leave the second option on. And restore from your Google account. That'll make sure that your apps that you had already downloaded on your previous device will be installed on this device. And keep the second one checked also because that'll let it Google know that this is the this is a device that you want it to go from to make backups from from now on so go ahead and hit that next and it's gonna take a little bit
Oh, there goes the computer again. All right, then it's finished. So finish that up. And there you go. It's got my wallpaper from. <laughs> yeah, that's not the wallpaper that comes with your next, but that's a wallpaper I got from Zedge. Kind of, it's nice. Kind of like a neural network. And with this AMOLED screen, it looks gorgeous on it. But there you go, and to prove that it is rooted, let me go ahead to the app drawer and uh, see they already have um, some apps, apps on there. But there you go, there's a super user right there, which let you know that you are rooted. So there you go. All right, so there you have it. Uh, hopefully that video helped you root, and hopefully it took you step by step on how to do the process. And now you have the ability, like I said in the beginning, you can get some apps that let you do what you normally couldn't do, like take uh, screenshots, or you can Teller, which lets you use your phone's signal, and you can use it for a uh, wireless hotspot, so you can get your computer on the internet if you don't have internet access somewhere. Um, so put on certain apps like that. Uh, Titanium Backup is one I recommend, which will let you to back up all your apps and the data, so in case you want to flash a ROM like Cyanogen, and something goes wrong, you want to go try another ROM, it'll, all you got to do is uh, restore from Titanium. You don't have to sign in to all your accounts on separate apps. It'll just restore all your data, all your apps, signed in, easy, takes five minutes, bam, bam, bam. That's the easiest way to do it. So Titanium Backup is one, uh, probably the most important app I would say to get after you root. If you have any problems, leave comments in the video, and uh, if you wondering what you do now, now that you're rooted, your phone looks the same, but you want to know what what is the custom ROM, what kind of ROM can I put on it. I put CyanGen on my phone, even though I said it wasn't. Uh, I tried it nightly, and, and it was pretty good. So it's pretty stable, no problems with it. So I'm going to show you a quick video on how to do that. It's a real, real, real quick process. Pretty much just involves putting the ROM on, putting the Google apps on, signing into your account, bam, you're done. All right, uh, thanks for checking me out. The Tech Temple, see you guys later.